great ingredients prepared with love. A perfect combination like you and Pick and Pay. Good morning and welcome to Kids Cooking Today. Today we are doing our show a little bit more differently with our guest, Mario, aka Mazza. Hey Mario. Hey, thanks. How you doing, man? Not too bad. Bro. It's so good to high five, man. It's good to have you high here. High five. And I, I, like you guys, I'm very excited to have Mario. You're looking all colourful and fruit delicious and healthy. What are we doing today? Uh, well, we're basically going to be reducing this little puppy into a portion that you guys can get and cook. All right, so you're going to actually show us how to make proper smoothies that are like in here, but yeah. at home. Yeah, pretty much. Okay, cool. So uh, you got a lot of fruit there. Tell us about what you got. Um, well, I'll give that over to the kids because, I mean, as you can see, this is kind of kids' stuff, so, you know, with by all means. Yeah. So, guys, grab a banana, okay. there's some pineapples, and there's you some strawberries, grab. apples, Thanks, and pears. So, the cool thing about what we're going to be doing right now is making our own smoothie. You can make your own flavour, right? Well, basically, the way we do it at home is that you'll make your own flavour, and this can be anything that you wish, but when you do it in an industrial kind of way so that you can produce these guys for these kids, yeah. uh, it's slightly different. Well, actually, not slightly. It's a lot different. <laughs> uh, but it does have the added convenience of slipping it into your backpack, which is uh, which moms are like, I guess. Yeah, but what, what goes in here is exactly this natural, all-natural kind of stuff. Yeah, kind of... Uh, List of preservatives and everything else. It's what you see in there is pretty much what you get over here. Cool stuff. So guys, let's peel our bananas because we're going to get those into our smoothies. I'm peeling the monkey. Look at you guys. It's an amazing. Oh no! Yeah. But do you at home? Why we must ask mommy and daddy to help us to oh, work yeah. with the knives because they're sharp. All right. So what 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 thing do you do we do? Do we just kind of chuck it all into the into the blender? Yeah. I mean, you'll basically start with adding the the kind of fruit in there. So just chucking those bananas. Aha! Uh -huh. Clearly, Leah has been in the kitchen a lot longer than you, Dan. <laughs> Look at that, she's got that little technique going. So our bananas go in there. Also, awesome. add some pineapples. Ah, uh, pineapples. Okay. I think you might want to add some strawberries, less the leaves. So All of them. Get that up. Okay, too late now. Okay, cool. So what are you doing there, Mario? Listen, I'm just kind of skinning the apple so that we can add some, some a little bit of substance to the thing. So. Okay, cool. So if you just join us at home, we are making oh. all natural I'm smoothies, just yeah. like you find in these little loaded boxes. This is what yeah. Kickstart Kiwi, they come in different flavors, right? Yeah, we have four flavors. There's a, uh, a berry flavor, there's a mango flavor, there's a passion fruit flavor, and there's a, an apple and kiwi flavor. This is 100% fruit, nothing else? Yes. Nothing else. Yes. Not even like... Uh, no. Like, not nothing. even like... But like, no. But like not even. No. Okay, I get it. It consists of 100% fruit, nothing else but fruit. Okay, so it's healthy. <laughs> there we go. Pop it in there. What else would you guys like? In what's what's this yogurt? Okay, yeah. so basically we produce non um, non dairy fruit smoothies. Okay, but if you want a little bit of twist when you're making it at home, you can add some yogurt, some skim milk. You can do a whole can bunch I, of stuff. But can I eat? Yeah. wow. Go for it. <laughs> all right, so we got all our ingredients in there, yep. and now we need something to pop it over. Yep. Close it up so we can blend. All right, Dan. Uh, so where where do we? Where's, this is the. It's this function here. You know, no, it's this one. Got it. Oh, there we go. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, get in there, my son. Okay, that was scary. That was scary. This is how you know I'm only learning how to operate a blender for the first time. And it's going. All right, all right, we're getting there. Dan, you're a legend. Hold up for one second. Also, if you want to... All right. Okay, well, I think what we could do is also add some mango smoothie in there. I oh, love yeah. mango. mango. So mango. Awesome Look at cats. that. Look cool. at that. Awesome. With the capital <laughs> A. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we go. So we just added some mango smoothie into our... Yeah. yeah. Basically, what we did is we took... All of these fruit that's already been processed, uh -huh. we've taken, they all exist in this thing. Okay. okay. So we've kind of just for, for our purposes here and for uh, if you want to make it at home, you skin all these things. It's all basically in there. Wow, and smoothie time. Smoothie time. Smoothie delicious time. Is those, those like, like small things? Yeah. <laughs> so basically, we, you know that Tetra Pak is, is a very environmentally conscious product and company. So like 99% of it's recyclable, so uh, which is good like for the environment. Right? That's cool. Uh, and they make cool things like uh, tissue paper and all sorts of office stationery stuff. And so it's quite cool. And uh, you were telling me earlier on that Pick and Pay actually helped you start the business. Yeah, I mean... Uh, Tell me about it. 
Okay. Well, Suzanne runs the foundation. Yeah, she, she heads up the transformation fund uh, at Pick and Pay. And when I was um, starting out, uh, they actually assisted me financially uh, mm -hmm. to get this project off the go. But, but more so, they also offered like tutorship and mentoring uh, because uh, it was an environment that I wasn't familiar with. I mean, uh, I'm like an analyst by profession. I, I just do this stuff for the sidekicks. I think that's a big impact. Pay, you are awesome. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> there we go. There we go. Let's say you know kids were to buy this. Yeah. Which is 100% uh, fruit, like you say. Yep. They would be getting let's, the recommended daily allowance of, of fruit. Well, they would be getting one and a half of their five recommended uh, fruit portions a day. And so your five recommended fruit portions is your five portions of fruit and veg. Uh -huh. So one is equal to one and a half. Uh, so two would be equal to almost like sixty percent of what your daily intake is required. Wow! Which is good, and also it's handy because you can just slip these into your into your wow, kids' nice. rucksacks. Yeah. Is it good, this? Yeah, amazing. <laughs> really? Though. Yeah. How's yours? Uh, uh, okay, wait. <laughs> mm. This is good. Mm. <laughs> That's awesome. Like pick and play. Yeah. Mm. It's a very good brother. This is good, man. This is good. 100% <laughs> fruit, and it's great. So, you had something to tell us about, actually. Oh, yeah. The, word, the reason we call pineapples pineapples mm? is because I'm running right thinking the Europeans went down to the Caribbean, yeah. and they, they thought pineapples were in the shape of a pine cone, if I'm right thinking, yeah. and had the skin of, a pine, of, of an apple. So, they named it a pineapple. Is that how it works? So, they, they had the look of a pine cone, and the inside kind yeah. of looked like an yeah. apple. So, they're like, ha, ah, we'll call this a pineapple. Very clever Europeans. Thank you very much. And thank you, Mario, for these cool looks. It's a pleasure, man. it's a pleasure. So can I, can I, you guys want to take these for, for lunch? Mm. Yeah? yeah. You like this one? Yeah? You go right ahead. I'm not choosing. Yeah, no way. <laughs> you don't have to. There's enough to go around. We've got a whole house full of them. Yeah. <laughs> Get yourself some at Pick and Pay. Stay with Expresso and SABC3.